come in, have a very long brunch, it's bottomless mimosas, you're gonna have a good time, you're gonna eat a bunch of food. But tonight's when people find out they've been nominated. I get excited, I might, I might go cook right now. And you can actually feel the excitement. People who work really hard all year long, and then tonight's where they get some recognition. Hi, I'm Furman Patterson here with my co-host Michelle Wright. Yes, and we are here at the Hamilton in downtown DC for the announcement of the nominees of this year's Rammy's finalists. And anything that has to do with food, I'm here for it. <laughs> this is like the biggest night for the restaurant industry, and, and DC has one of the best restaurant industries in the world, I think. But here tonight, everybody's been wanting to know who's going to fall in within those finalists for each of the categories. It's best chef, best uh, culinary rising, culinary star, That's bunch right. of categories. Best upscale brunch, best casual brunch, you know, and brunch is one of my favorite meals of the day or night, anytime. But it is a fabulous event where they honor and salute restaurateurs, chefs, uh, the people behind the scenes, the general managers, people in the front of the house, the back of the house, all over, as we should, because again, D.C. has become such a big restaurant town. And what's so exciting is, this is sort of like the Grammys and the Oscars of the restaurant oh, yeah. industry. So it's like those little envelopes waiting to see who will be the finalists in each of those categories. So we're going to talk to all those people tonight. We're going to eat some food. We're going to drink some drinks. We're going to have a good time. I'm looking forward to it. I am too. All right. Good evening, everyone. Here we go. Thanks for joining us for this exciting night as we officially kick off the 2017 Rammies. It's our honor to welcome you back to the Hamilton Live. Evenings like this one are made possible by support and contributions of many. I want to first thank the finalists of the Restaurant of the Year and Cocktail Program of the Year who are sampling bites, cocktails, spirits, and other delicious things here tonight. Thank you and congratulations on your nominations. The food is outstanding here tonight, and we have many, many folks to thank for that. The Hamilton's menu tonight is courtesy of the restaurant's new executive chef, Zach Smith, who collaborated with Brian Bernstein and Savile Food Service, as well as John Perlman and Congressional Seafood, who provided many ingredients and are sponsors of tonight's event. The cocktails are supported by brand partners of Republic National Distributing Company, and we f thank John Lynette and Dara, Dara Jimenez for their support. We have some additional key sponsors to thank who are supporting tonight's event. Thank you to our official media partner, The Washington Post, our public partners at NBC4, Acme Paper and, Su Paper and Supply Company, Pro Chile, Fruits from Chile, and Wines of Chile, D.C. Brow Brewing Company, and Heineken USA. And a huge thank you goes to you, David, our hosts for this evening, John and Ginger Latham of the Clyde's Restaurant Group, and Emily Palm and Jacqueline Lewis, and the entire Hamilton's fabulous staff. This year marks a milestone Rammies for the Washington region. It is the 35th annual event and it will be held this year on July 30th at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center. So everyone needs to mark your calendars. Everybody needs to wait until August 1 to book your vacations and stick around for July. So buy your table and join us for an incredible list of sponsors who are already signed on to support the Rammies. I can't thank everyone here tonight, but I will take some time to thank our top tier sponsors. Our event sponsor, Events DC. Our platinum level sponsors, Embassy of Argentina, Pro Chile, Peru's Trade and Investment Office, Design Foundry, Embassy of the Republic of South Korea, and Republic National Distributing Company. Our awards show sponsor, Coastal Sunbelt Produce. Our diamond sponsors, Adam Birch, Bel Air Produce and Watermark, Watermark Foods, Bennett Street Media, DC HealthLink, DC Office of Cable, Television, Film, Music and Entertainment, Heartland Payment Systems, Profish, Snagajob, 
open table and Savile food service. And hang in there with me, guys. And our friend of the industry sponsors, Acme Paper and Supply Company, American Express, Congressional Seafood, DC Magazine, DC Sustainable Energy Utility, Heineken, Pepco, Port City Brewing Company, Taste of Japan, the Veritas Law Firm. And we are really excited this year, guys, to announce that City Open Tennis Tournament is not only a returning sponsor, but they are hosting their official players party inside the Rammy Awards this year. So let me tell you, as excited as you may be to rub elbows with some of the tennis world's top champions, they are equally excited to rub elbows with all of you, the DC's, re DC's region's culinary powerhouses. So remember to go drop your business card at their station tonight for a chance to win tickets to this year's City Open event. Let's give all of our partners and sponsors a huge round of applause. So this is the one part every year I go off script. I just want to say this. Kathy does that reading of our sponsors every year, and I know that's where everyone starts chatting over their name. Let's remember it's those sponsors who make everything possible for us for doing that. So thank you to every sponsor who's here tonight. Thank you for all the sponsors who support REMW throughout the year. Thank you very much for that. Now on to the finalists. As you know, we are here to announce the 2017 Rammy finalists in 20 categories. First, a couple of words about the Rammies. FAQs, if you will. First, who chooses Rammy finalists and winners? Every year after this event, people come up to me and Kathy and either want to thank us for their nomination or give us a piece of their mind for not being nominated. Well, you can do that, but just so you know, Kathy and I have no say in who the finalists are. There's an anonymous panel of nine judges who are food and food service industry writers, critics and experts, who vote on all but three of the categories. They're dining out all the time, experiencing your restaurants, food, service, and more to be able to vote on which restaurants should make the top five in each category. They go through a process that takes months to consider the many options within the RMW membership and take part in several rounds of voting to get down to five top finalists in each category. A separate panel of three judges score the employee and manager of the year categories. Two categories, the Allied Member of the Year Award and the Duke Zebert Award, announced later this spring, are chosen by the RMW Executive Committee, and the Regional Food and Beverage Producer finalists were chosen this year for the first time by the restaurant operators on the board. Got it? Great. Let's do it, Kathy. Since 2008, this award has been named in honor of Joan Hisioka, a very dear friend of the restaurant industry and to REMW. These allied members have been tireless in their efforts to support REMW and its members throughout the year. As your company's name is announced, please send just one company representative to come up on stage. This year's Joan Hisioka Allied Member of the Year finalists are Acme Paper and Supply Company, Coastal Sunbelt Produce, DC Brow Brewing Company, USI Insurance Services, and the Veritas Law Firm. All right, new this year, the Regional Food and Beverage Producer of the Year category finalists were chosen by the RMW Board of Directors. The winners will be chosen by the restaurants in the RMW membership. The finalists this year are Atlas Brew Works, DC Brow Brewing Company, Logan Sausage, New Columbia Distillers Green Hat, and Right Proper Brewing Company. We can get one rep from each of those companies to please join us on stage. We are thrilled tonight to have with us two fabulous guest MCs, 
Later tonight, we'll be joined by Bonnie Benwick, deputy food editor and recipe editor of the Washington Post. And hosting the first part of the program is the very talented NBC4 Washington News anchor, Anyang. Please welcome onto the stage. Thank you, David and Kathy. So I felt a little underdressed tonight, so I had to wear the Rammies finalist apron to make me look a little bit more official. I am excited to be here tonight uh, announcing the 2017 Rammy Award finalists. Those who know me know that I wake up very, very early and I eat a lot of food. And I love to go out there and eat at all your restaurants as often as I can. I like that early reservation. I love a five o'clock dinner, 5.30. Um, and it really is a pleasure for me to be here to celebrate the restaurants that make this great city and region such a wonderful place to live and eat and work and visit. So the Rammies, as you know, uh, such a big night and a chance to celebrate this incredible restaurant community and the culinary artisans, that's you, that we're lucky to have right here in the DC metropolitan area. Uh, from all the hot new restaurants that are out there to the fast bites, the top chefs and the rising stars, uh, being nominated for a Ramy Award is a huge accomplishment and there are really no other regional restaurant awards quite like the Ramy's anywhere else in the country and no other community like the DC restaurant community. So we are very proud to have such a unique event, 35 years strong right here in Washington, DC. So yes. So uh, you heard what Kathy and David said. So as I announce your restaurant or name, please send your representative to come up on the stage. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come up over here to the left. Then you're gonna walk to the stairs across the middle of the stage where then you will wait together until there's a round of applause so we can applaud you. Then you will exit the stage on the other side, get a present, hem, <clears throat> hint, hint, and then go to the step and repeat to get a group photo. Make sense? Okay, I know you want me to continue. Here we go. All right, so you already know some of these next restaurants because you've been eating at their food all night, so that's a big hint. We want to congratulate the new Restaurant of the Year finalists. They are All Purpose, Hazel, Kobo, oh yeah, representatives, representatives, come up, Requin, and Whaley's. What a great group. All right. Okay, follow Roger. All right, the next one is the cocktail program of the year. The finalists have been mixing up cocktails that you've been enjoying all night as well. Here are the finalists. Bar Mini by Jose Andres. Indique. Iron Gate. Copnos by Mike Isabella and Royal. Wonderful, okay. All right, so it's no secret out there that DC really has become a beer destination. And where should you be sampling the best suds? Well, the finalists for beer program of the year are B-Side, District Commons, Jack Rose Dining Saloon, Republic, yes, Roofers Union. There you go. Representatives, representatives. All right, keep an eye out for more exciting events and promotions around these three beverage categories in May, which includes the impressive finalists for Wine Program of the Year. We have Bourbon Steak. Charlie Palmer Steak, Doi Moy, Viola, and Mini Bar by Jose Andres. So now, these up and coming chefs show incredible talent in the kitchen, and we cannot wait to see what they do next. These are the finalists for Rising Culinary Star of the Year. We have Sasha Felixson from Doi Moy, Brian Rotino from Ripple, Miranda Rosenfeld from Sally's Middle Name, I love these. Rob Ruba from Hazel. So Chef Rob has to come back. It's Rob's birthday. Happy birthday, Chef Rob. 
Peter and Handri Tijan from Kobo Sushi Co. categories that are giving the power to the people. These are the publicly voted categories. The judges have chosen the finalists and now it is up to the public and only the public who will decide the winners of the next four categories by voting online for their favorite restaurants. So the first publicly voted category is favorite gathering place of the year. This is where everyone likes to hang out, hang out with their friends, have a bite to eat, a drink. Here are your finalists. Brooklyn's finest bar and kitchen. Number representative, the front porch at Evening Star Cafe. L'Oreal Plaza. Pearl Dive Oyster Palace. Petworth Citizen and Reading Room. Come on up. Come on up. All right, so you know DC loves to go to brunch. I mean, all the time, you can start Friday afternoon and go all the way to Sunday night. So this year's upscale brunch finals are Convivial, Del Campo, Marcel's by Robert Weedmeyer, The Restaurant at Potomac Farm, The Source by Wolfgang Puck. All right, so your upscale brunch, and then when you're feeling laid back, we even have a category for casual brunch of the year. Here are your finalists. Remember, publicly voted, vote for your favorites. We have Cava Meze, Capitol Hill, DGS, Delicatessen, Maketo, Republic, and Six Engine. Representatives, come on up, come on up. The next category for the publicly voted group is favorite fast bites. These celebrate your favorite food delis, your food trucks, your sandwich shops, and many more. Here are your finalists. We have Beef Steak, Kava Grill, Chase the Submarine, G by Mike Isabella, and Taco Bamba Taqueria. Come on up. Some of you are coming back up again. I can't wait to see the results of the Rammies. We will see you in July. Have a great night. Hey, everybody. It's an impressive gathering for a Monday. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight with so many of those who make the restaurant and food scene across the region such a great industry. Part of what makes the best restaurants so great are the dedicated staff members who greet you with a smile and provide guests excellent service every day. I'm going to kick off my part with the Restaurant Employee of the Year. Finalists are, and get ready to come on down, Noe Alfaro from Republic, Joseph Cassis from Passion Fish Bethesda, David Perry from RIS. David Trezevant, Carmine's family style Italian restaurant. And I missed Heather Berry from Bar Pilar. Next up, the people that make the restaurants run. We've got the hardworking restaurant manager of the year. First one, Julio Amador, Cork Wine Bar. Christine Gibson from Iron Gate. John Grace from the Hamilton. Matthew McQuilkin from Pizzeria Paradiso. And Margaret Perry from Kirisan. The restaurants with the best service programs of the year are the Bombay Club, Mini Bar by Jose Andres. Ripple, come on down. Riss, and The Source by Wolfgang Puck. Our next category honors the region's best casual restaurants of the year. Finalists are Compass Rose Bar and Kitchen, 
Daikaya. The Daily Dish. Duke's Grocery. And Mandu on 18th Street. And now for the upscale casual restaurant of the year, the 2017 finalists are Central Michel Richard. Indique, Iron Gate, Proof, and the Old Red Hen. Next up, this is my personally favorite category, Pastry Chef of the Year. They make magic every day. I've got, uh, first up, Molly Bird from Kirisan. Uh, Jamil Gadea from Masseria. <laughs> Tiffany McIsaac from Buttercream Bake Shop. <laughs> and uh, Brandon Malzahn from Fabio Trabocchi Restaurants. Rounding out the list, Aaron Reed from Blue Duck Tavern. This year's formal fine dining restaurant of the year, the finalists are Viola Mare. Glad someone's clapping. Mini Bar by Jose Andres. The Source by Wolfgang Puck. Sushi Taro. And Trummers on Main. And now, for the highly anticipated Chef of the Year, Amy Brandwine from Centralina. Eric Bruner Yang from Maketo and Paper Horse. Austin Fawcett from Proof. Katsuyu Fukushima, Bantam King, Daikaya, Haikam. And Tarver King from the restaurant at Patamac Farm. Final category of the night, Restaurant of the Year. Your 2017 finalists are Ari Gedinson, Mindful Restaurants, Ike Grigoropoulos, Dimitri Mashavitis, and Ted Zeno Christos, Fred Schulman, The Kava Group, The Color Family, Fat Baby Incorporated, Jamie Leeds, JL Restaurant Group. And Daisuke Yurokawa, Katsuya Fukushima, and Yama Jawani Dakaya Group. And that's it. Please join me in congratulating all the finalists. Enjoy the rest of the incredible food and drink. We look forward to seeing you at the Ramy Awards Gala on July 30th. Make sure you reserve your table today. Thank you. Well, tell us how do you feel being nominated uh, as a finalist tonight? Um, obviously great, a little bit surprised. Um, but you know, you just do your thing every day and one day you recognize and you go, why? <laughs> you can't be too surprised. We come to your restaurants, we eat your sushi and we're all, oh yes, so delicious. This is an industry that celebrates each other. I mean, you really see the excitement of one restaurateur or one chef celebrating another chef or a restaurateur who's being acknowledged and they're so happy for each other and they're very supportive, they're a very tight-knit community and that's a lot to be proud of. I could eat the flour. Absolutely. Are you yeah. Okay, give me the flour. Give me the flour. <laughs> this won't hurt me? It was delicious. Ah. What's it taste it tastes like? like flour. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited. I might, I might go cook right now. I see. Why don't we just go? Up. Stop all this <laughs> nonsense. Let's go, let's on, go let's eat. Go. Sounds like a plan. All right, all, right. all right. If you're not passionate about what you're doing, if you're not like really driven to be there, like I don't know. I'm glad that you guys are always there with us year after year. So we're always delighted to be able to partner with you guys as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations. Good to all see right. you. I've had an absolute ball tonight. Michelle and I have been 
having a quiet time tonight? Oh, it has been amazing. I have tried some things that I've never tasted before. Uh, most of them were quite delicious. Everything was delicious, actually. You know, it was a nice experience. And uh, I drank bourbon. Whoa. Uh, bourbon laced with cardamom. That was delicious. <laughs> that was. I, I had you try it. a little bit. Yeah, you did. You did. I Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're very uh, happy people here tonight. They're people that have been nominated in several different categories, which shows just how talented the restaurant industry is here in D.C. And you know what? I need to get a hold of one of those red aprons that all the finalists and nominees got because, you know, I cook a little bit myself, so I can put on one of those aprons on the weekends and chef it up and uh, invite you over. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> all right, so the next big uh, event is, of course, the Rammy Awards in July. Yeah. So we'll be covering that, and you have to tune in for it, the biggest night of the year. Hamilton, you've been a great host. The Hamilton in downtown D.C. Thank you all. It's just been a great time. The Rammies, coming up. Take care. Bon appétit.